there are five adobe illustrator tips i'm going to share in this video and you probably did not know so if you are just getting started using adobe illustrator make sure you watch this video to the very end because i'm going to share these five tips that will help boost your workflow so let's jump right in so here is the first one whenever you open adobe illustrator there are tools or panels you use every time you work with adobe illustrator so my greatest advice would be you set it up on this other side or you can always place this angle wherever you feel like and open it up just like this so each time you come to adobe illustrator you will use them easily like i use these colors panels swatches brushes symbols and i close them up just like this but then you can open it up so you can see the names and you use this easily anytime you want to use them just come to wherever it is and use it and you can customize this panel just like this when you go to windows and you see all the panels are all set to your windows okay for example i have these colors here and pretty much it's not necessary that you place them here on this other side you can always drag and drop them on any angle of your windows okay you can drag and drop them around here and pretty much it makes it very easy to work with adobe illustrator okay just like what i'm doing here and i'm placing all of them here so whenever there is a new panel i like to place on this windows i'll go to windows and i will choose the particular panel let's choose image trace maybe i like working with image trace every time i open adobe illustrator i'm going to click on image trace and it opens up here so you drag and drop it just down here and it fixes itself with the tools you've been using already so pretty much this is how to customize your workspace to make it easy for you to access any panel in adobe illustrator and whenever you don't feel like placing this panel just like this you can always drag and drop it back at its normal original location for me i leave this panel on the right hand side of my windows because i feel it's very easy for me i have my properties panel here and i have the custom panel here and i also have my layer panel where i check out to see my layers how it looks like so pretty much this is how i customize my windows you can try it out as it makes your workflow very fast so moving to the next one you probably be working with different shapes and different layers when it comes to adobe illustrator and whenever you are working with adobe illustrator you observe that you do place things to overlap other things in adobe illustrator and when selecting these objects it's not always so easy to select all these objects differently for example you design a flyer design that has different layers and most of the layers are below other layers just like these circles you see here you see the first circle the first circle overlaps the second and the second overlaps the third one and probably you want to select the last circle it's not so easy but there is an easy way to select each of these objects without distorting your design and here is it you go to where you have your selection tool and hold control and click on each object the first object and when you click again you'll be able to select the next object and if you click again you'll be able to select the last object let me zoom out so you see it very well now when you hold your click on your selection tool just like that and you and you hold control or command on your keyboard click on the first object and when you click again it selects the second object and when you click again it selects the last object so pretty much this is how you select different objects in adobe illustrator without scattering or distorting your artwork the next one on my list has to do with caning okay so many times you like to work with caning especially when you want to adjust the space between every letter in your line of text and you, when you come to caning, opening your character panel control T to do that. And when you come to where you have your caning, you observe that you can't adjust your caning, okay? And looking at this text, there are some texts or there are some letters that are closer than they are supposed to be closed. And here is a quick tip to do that. When you come to where you have your tracking and you try to adjust your tracking, it adjusts all the text and you still see those texts that are very close but this trick will help you to adjust each letter without 
using tracking okay all you have to do is to activate your text tool and let's start with x you click once on the space between the double x and you hold option on your keyboard and with your right arrow key you can adjust the caning of this alphabet okay same thing with every other alphabet that looks as if it's too close to the other alphabet hold alt and with your arrow key you can space that up the left arrow key brings it back the right arrow key spaces that up and pretty much that's how it's done this next one has to do with global edits and pretty much it works with group object or single object let's say we have these circles grouped together and i'm going to reduce the circle and place it around here okay and then i'm going to duplicate this circle with the help of alt and shift i'll duplicate this circle twice and then we have three groups of this same circle and this is what global edit works when you click on select okay and you go to where you have your start global edit and once you do that this effect applies to every other group object and whatever you do on the first group applies to the other group let's say we change the size once we increase the size the size of other group objects similar to that we also increase even if we change the color let's say we change the hue let's go to edit and we go to um, edit colors and recolor artwork and once you do that you are able to recolor this artwork let's recolor the artwork when we change the color you can observe this it also changes the color of every other group object that looks like that and pretty much this is how global edit works in adobe illustrator you can apply that to every other object in your design it may not necessarily be these circles like this whenever you are designing you can use this to boost your workflow so the very last tip on my list has to do with scales and corners and this is how it works you might have noticed each time you create a stroke in adobe illustrator let's use this ellipse to practicalize this you create a circle just like this and you have this stroke weight of 14 points and you observe if you should reduce the size of this circle the stroke becomes bigger it's still 14 points but it's just the norm in adobe illustrator the stroke becomes bigger and if you increase the size the stroke becomes very tiny just like this and pretty much there are ways to solve this that is if you want your stroke to remain the same whether you increase the size or you decrease the size and this is the trick to do that you're going to open your transform if you can't find your transform here on your custom panel you go to where you have your windows and when you go to where you have your windows you go to where you have transform you can click the down arrow and go to where you have transform just right here and the shortcut for that is shift f8 so you click on transform and when you click it opens up this dialog okay and what you're going to do here is to click on where you have your scales and scale stroke and effect once you click that you are able to adjust this circle without the size distorting okay let's increase the size you see it still remains the same and even if we reduce this circle it remains the same stroke okay and that's how it's done as as the stroke as the circle increases the stroke matches the size of the circle so you won't run into troubles trying to make your stroke look the same when you get this done and this is how the corners work let's say for example i have a rectangle here let's create a rectangle just like this and you can see the corners if you create corners like this in this rectangle you can see even if i increase the size of this rectangle the corners still remains the same and if i reduce the size the corners still remains the same but let me deactivate this effect go to where you have your transform again and click on scale stroke and effect scale uh, corners deactivate that and let's increase the size when you increase the size you observe the corners are not just the same anymore like before and the more you increase the size you see the corners shrink itself and it becomes very small and when you reduce the size of this uh, rectangle it turns to a circle and this is not what we want okay let's re let's bring back the curve to where it was okay let's make it default and let and then let's activate let's activate this okay click on your scale corners 
scale stroke and effect okay the scale corners works for the corners and scale stroke and effect works for the stroke size being the same okay so let's increase the size when you increase the size of this um, rectangle the scale and the corners remains the same and pretty much this is the trick so if you found this video helpful make sure you leave a like and share this video comment down below which adobe illustrator trick you like me to show you in our next video if you like to learn more about adobe illustrator probably you are getting started with adobe illustrator click on this video and watch everything you need to know about adobe illustrator thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video peace